What are we doing today, Amelia? We are recording some piano at 1087. So this is the new live room with a beautiful piano. We're using some DPA microphones. Yeah, DPA has kindly lent us a whole array of stuff. The goal today is to try and get Amelia um, playing some really soft, I guess, neoclassical-esque solo piano yeah. stuff. And the goal is to kind of capture this like hyper, hyper close, hyper real sound of the piano with all the mechanics, the foot pedal, the natural sound of the piano, and then a bit of a roomier and more ambient sound from these um, 87 uh, mics in Omni. Um, it's just kind of a really cool way to kind of test out this piano. In a, in a kind of a different way to at least ways that I've usually done, but really adore in, in records today. Um, this room's really awesome. It's a wonderfully open sounding room that 1087's built and We've the piano. We've taken the lid off, so. Yeah. Getting all that reflection as well. Yeah, that's, it's been really nice to be able to, I've done it once before, but not, not in this way where we've kind of get the whole lid off and really get the piano singing. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll get something good out of it. So what we're trying to do today is a little bit of an experiment. Um, I mean, the goal was to track some nice piano, but what I've always wanted to try and do is sort of really, really hyper close mic the a piano with sort of boundary mics, um, contact mics, and. We've stuck to try and get that sound, that kind of, I mean, I guess Niels Fram and Olaf Arnold are kind of like the ones that come to mind first. Um, but this super close to the hammers, We've got three 4061s, I think they are, on boundary, on boundary mounts, stuck really close. And then we've got one more, we've got one more 4060. 4061 and I mean the idea is just get kind of that really intimate um, aesthetic quality of kind of like a solo piano kind of neoclassical thing um, and get some of the hammer sounds the foot pedal sounds the room sound we've got another pair of Omni 87s up as well to try and get a bit more room tone in and balance all of that out What's cool about these mics is you can get this, they're super versatile. And I've never actually used them with the boundary mounts before. Which one's a bit further down? The right hand one. All right. Probably a more logical way of doing this. <laughs> I just wanted to try and get it kind of roughly even with the center um, boundary. All right, let's give that a go. Yeah, cool. Yeah.
Yeah, that's great. So we've got a, 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 a good, a fairly almost even balance between the 4T11s stereo pair, cardioid pair from DPA over the, over the piano. And then the LCR boundaries with the center pushed a little bit, a little bit forward and the sides just back a little bit. I think that helps control the, 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 the boominess, the, the low mid stuff. And then the 87 space pair just, just behind and then the foot actually quite up, the, up there as well. And you really get all that mechanical sound, not too, not too much, but it's kind of in there with it as like a, almost like a percussion layer. I'd love to hear some, some reverb on this as well, but this is just, just the desk. Tiny little bit of EQ, a little bit of bus compression. That's kind of it. These are a little brighter, way more open, and I think they just blended really well with these. Being DPAs, I think that was, that feels normal. Um, and we've got one more DPA down here on the foot pedal, on the system, kind of right next to the sustain pedal right here. And that again added some of that sound to the mix. Do you we had, get like a really intimate? The whole thing is sounding, it sounds really yeah. intimate. Yeah. Getting all the mechanical sounds of the piano in there with, with um with the sort of the what would it like the, the more natural sound of it yeah. um kind of adds this like really cool percussive sort of percussive layer mm -hmm. and maybe sort of imitating really more what you're hearing as a player as well because you're right in here with it and you can hear a lot more of what the piano is doing and maybe it's a sort of like hyper real sort of experience that i kind of really adore in yeah. solo piano records um, these days, the kind of stuff coming out of, um, uh, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember the name of the label. Anyway, <laughs> we'll skip past that bit. Um, the other thing we had was these U87s in Omni. Got cardioids here. The DPA 46s are Omni, but in the boundary mounts. And then these are in Omni as well. And we start, started with them quite close and I kind of the idea was to try and get another viewpoint really close to the player to try and capture just what's in this space but the blend wasn't really working it was again too there was too much too much energy coming off the piano into those into those mics coupled with these so pulling them back and kind of kind of having just a really different viewpoint a much more spacious open roomier sound and what I ended up doing was then threw just some Valhalla plate into the mix as well off these mics and blended that in and that kind of again like opened everything up and gave everything a really cool so you've um, got a big mix between ambience. intimacy and um, yeah kind of yeah. this mix of like really of, of intimacy so it's, it's almost like this dual perspective of being away further away standing away from the piano and hearing it while at the same time being right mm. in there with it and it's it's a yeah it's an aesthetic that i think like just suits modern solo piano stuff in my in my view it's just it's an aesthetic that i really love and love listening to and rarely get the chance to capture it and record it especially on such a beautiful instrument as this shout out to hanaka <laughs> <laughs> 